Hello my fellow human and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind that these are general readings so please take what resonates, leave what does not. Knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. And if you are interested in supporting the channel further, check out the description box down below where you will find all the links necessary. You can email me for a personal reading where I will get you out further information. You can also follow me on over to my podcast at Scatter Love Radio where it's a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. And I hope to see you there. And with that being said, let us go ahead and check out and see what is today's daily dice source. What messages do you have for my fellow humans? What would you like them to know? What is today's daily dice? What would you like my fellow humans to know, source? What is today's daily dice? Okay, so we've got Aries, 12th house, and Neptune. So a lot of start and finish energy here. Why? Because 12th house and Neptune are connected to Pisces energy, which is the end of the Zodiac wheel. And then we have Aries, which is the beginning. Okay. So it does feel like there's like this, oh, I started something and I'm seeing it through to the end is what I feel here. We do have a sense of growing your intuition here, growing your spiritual journey, right? So it's something that you're becoming very passionate about. It's also something you're being very courageous about. It's almost like this energy of I'm no longer fearing who I am because it, Aries energy can be very bold and fearless and their leadership on what it is. It's like you're becoming a master at your craft, whatever that is, but you're also not afraid to share that with just anybody, right? Like, like you're, you're going to share it with whoever comes through it doesn't matter whether people agree with you or don't it's like you're not letting that deter you from who you are who you're becoming and it's something that's very bold and brave here and it's something that I feel like you've dreamed of for a long time is being able to accept yourself on this deeper level being completely comfortable in your skin and as you are and who you are turning into and that's finally here it's something that is happening now it's something that you're not having to run away from right it's something that you are using your imagination to really picture your life the way that you want to you're seeing your dreams begin to come true you're seeing how psychic you really are like you're whatever that is it doesn't matter your psychic gifts can be anything right whether that's prophetic dreams one of the clairs having psychic mediumship whatever it is it just could be very strong intuition here as well right but your spirituality has led you down this this path that's been really difficult and freeing all together and you've learned a lot of bravery from it you've learned a lot of of strength and overcoming those things right or once it really did imprison you having these gifts it feels like you're finally healing from that and that's something that was karma from an old life or past life, like your old life could be the life you've lived up until now if you don't believe in past lives, that's fine. But that's karma from where it was you were before or karma that you brought over from a past life. You're no longer letting that hold you back. And that's a very powerful place to be in. This is like self-empowerment. What a wonderful place to be at. That's what it really feels like here. It's like, I'm finally me and I'm, I'm in a healthy place of being me, right? So go be you, boo. <laughs> Let's get some oracles out on it. Thank you. Yeah, transformation on the bottom with sea otter. Definitely feeling more comfortable, more playful in spirit, more open to change, more open to things happening as they happen. It's like if somebody if somebody doesn't accept me, it's you're no longer in this place of like, well, screw them or anything. It's like, oh, okay, they don't accept me. I'm moving on. Like it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't fuel you in any way. It's just like, cool. Because I've been there, done that, right? Yeah. Things are being veiled to you. Look at this. We have self-love coming through here. Peeking out. Love. Compassion. Like, this is a place of self-love for you. You're really falling in love with yourself in a very powerful place. That's what empowerment is, right? When you self-empower yourself, you're falling in love with yourself. And you're learning that you're so much stronger than you ever gave yourself credit for, right? So... That's where you're at right now. It feels like things are really changing for you because of that. This is like embracing the intuition that you've always had. Okay, this one wants to come out too. On the bottom we have Libra. Consideration, fairness, and harmony. Finding balance. 
finding balance in your journey, finding balance in yourself. Let's get an animal oracle here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I say having more fun with it. We have be playful flipped over here with 51 and same sandpiper spirit. Yeah. You're learning to enjoy it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Like it's, it's like place when, when before you might've questioned your gift, like, oh my gosh, is that right? You're like, oh, whether it's right or not, that's funny. I'm going to laugh at that. Right? Like that's what it feels like here. It's like being able to have a good time with what's coming through. You're co-creating with spirit now. Right, with 17, we have number eight. You're finally seeing abundance of this. It's people, yeah, life is speeding up with number two. Yeah, you're letting go of the karma that was connected to your gift. Okay, let's grab a angel's message. Please have an angel message for this reading source. Please have, thank you. Yeah, Ray. This came out in an earlier pick a card reading. It says yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So definitely very spiritual time for you. Very spiritual. We have Shanti on the bottom. I'm the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Yeah, this has been a long, a long journey for you. I feel like you've definitely denied yourself at some points along the journey because your gifts are so powerful and unique. And it scared you because it was like you saw how true they were, right? But what scared you is that maybe people were like denying it or maybe were, and it was like this feeling of, am I making this all up? Like, am I making up what I'm experiencing or like what's happening? Is that something I'm dreaming up and it's not actually real? And it's like, now you're coming into a place where people are actually like excited that you have what you have and they're receptive to it. And through that, it's not just them. Like it's, it's not about them accepting you. It's like you finally have come into this place. The why reason why they're being so receptive to your gifts is because you're now receptive to them. It's like, I've just been playing around with people who don't care. Like they don't want to see me succeed. And so they're like, just rather not say anything at all or tell me I'm crazy than to see me as being able to do this. Right. We're coming into a very spiritual time of life and we're the like, beginning stages of that like moving on generations in front of us will be able to embrace spirituality a lot easier than we were okay and then it doesn't matter what generation you come from whether you're a baby boomer all the way out to what is it gen v i don't even know what they are now but wh whatever generation you belong to it doesn't matter it's your kids 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 will have a lot easier time embracing spirituality than what you did. But knowing that you were a front runner in that is so important. I feel like that's what's happening now is just becoming truly, truly uh, accepting of your gift. So we have here stability with number eight. Uh, sea turtle. Yeah, you're being very stable in your journey. See, again, this idea of children here, you're healing your inner child and becoming playful. Like it's it's fun again for you. Or it's, it was fun in a past life or it was never fun in this life. It's something that's finally becoming fun for you in this life. Yeah. And it's given you a lot to reflect on. What do I want in my life? Like, what do I want out of my life? And that's something that's very important for you. And you've learned a lot about yourself through this process. We have House 11, friends, like-minded groups, humanitarian beliefs. So you're definitely connecting with people who accept you for who you are. Like they see you and they're like, oh, like your gift matters. Like your gift is helping. So keep going. We have establishing a foundation, health and daily life and potential de or practical details with House 6. Yeah, so definitely something that has affected your well-being in many areas of your life, but no longer is that the case. And then we have mutable signs here. Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces with surrender, fluidity, and welcoming change. So there's absolute change coming through here. I feel like there's something else I want to get. Okay, so I'm just kind of in love with these cards today. If you haven't seen them yet, um, these are some new affirmation cards that I got. They are for women. However, if you're a man on here, just, you know... Make it fit your situation. You, you're creative enough to do that, especially if this reading is vibrating with you. Vibrating with you is such a weird way to say it. Okay, whatever. We're just going to go with it. Cool. <laughs> so let's grab one of these out and see what's an affirmation for this reading source. Okay. Okay. They want it. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop. Okay. Whoa. 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 
We have far too many people are looking for the right person instead of trying to be the right person. So I do feel like you're changing the way that you're showing up for everything. You're trying to be the right person in your life. Okay. So we do have, if you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. So again, this idea of having a good time is coming through here. Like you're learning how to play again in life. Like it's something that might have eluded you for a while. Okay, and it says, keep your head high and keep your middle finger higher. Exactly. <laughs> like, you're not taking it personal. If someone's not for you, you're just kind of, like, moving on. You're like, bye. But I just think that that reconfirms exactly how I was feeling. It's just like, cool, like, I'm just not even going to mess with you. Like, I'm going to move on. It says, I will breathe. I will think of solutions. I will not let my worry control me. I will not let my stress level break me. I will simply breathe and it will be okay because I don't quit. I love that these are the ones that came out because they're so interchangeable for both men and women or whatever you identify with. I just love that. But these are, they are for women. That, that is something that they came out with. That's why there's all the women on the cards. But I just love that these ones today came out. It's like, because see, we have, there's a, so many of them that are like this. A strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. Like there's so many like that. And I love that all the cards came out. They're not gender specific. So I love that. It feels like it was so perfect for this. Let me put that one there. Can you see it? Kind of, kind of. Okay. So this is what I see for you. If you feel like this is your reading, leave a little sea turtle or a turtle emoji down below in the comment section and say, I embrace. No, 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 no. Scratch that. Scratch that. Let's go back. I accept the whole of my being. So you let Source know that you're calling in this higher, playful type energy here. Leave me a thumbs up, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do just want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this beautiful message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.